Hello there. What's going on everybody today? We're going to be unboxing a Warhammer 40k Space Marines Primaris Redemptor Dreadnought. Now, I am continuing my journey into uh, the 40k universe uh, with my first, uh, I guess, purchase after a core set. And uh, this is, uh, this was fun. I don't even know if this is legal or not. I don't even know really that much. Uh, if you guys saw, uh, after, once I hit 40,000 subscribers, I picked up a 40K uh, starter and uh, with, for the new 9th edition stuff. I don't even know if this is, like, if I need separate models, to, you know, depending on the edition or, or what. But uh, I thought this guy looked really cool. Uh, if you are new here to the channel, I've got giveaways going on right now. I've got a, a couple of them. You can check out crabock.com for specific details. But basically, uh, the current one is for a, a $25 Amazon gift card. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos uh, to enter to win that. Um, this dude looks really cool. It looks like uh, well, you can have him open or close. I, I don't know if he's going to open and close. And I, so, and, and I know a lot of people talk about uh, magnetizing. There's, uh, there's going to be different guns that you can put on here. I'm, I may have to magnetize this. Um, we'll see. I, I hope I have the right stuff. But yeah, we're going to put this. Uh, at least we're going to at least put part of it together. I don't know if I will um, glue on any uh, guns. Uh, oh, look, we've got decals. Look at this. We got decals. Very cool. I haven't started painting any of my 40k stuff yet. I'm still in the process of building a lot of it right now. We've got. Um, Oh, look at this. Okay. All the different types of... Uh, oh, there's different de decal suggestions for the guns, maybe? Oh, yeah. This is... Oh, this is going to be a little complex. This is going to be a little bit complex. Oh, look at all these rules. Oh, boy. Well, we'll see how much we can get done. We've got uh, three sprues for just this one uh, model, which is going to be kind of, a, kind of intimidating. It seems like it could definitely be intimidating. I don't even know which pieces I'm looking at right here. Uh, I imagine this is going to take quite a while. Oh, I see a little chair right here in the middle. All right. Um, and then we've got um, piece number two. Or maybe this is the other way around. Um, this was the middle piece. And I think that's the top. And then, uh, oh, then we've got some more here. We've got our little... Uh, we got... Wait, wait. Are these two different chess pieces? Maybe... Maybe they're alternate. Oh, we've gotten some of the guns here on this one. This one's got the, the big meat and potatoes on it. We've got big guns right there. And, oh, look at these big old Gatling barrels. Uh, oh, man, there's some, uh, there's some pretty guns for this one. Very, very cool. Um, I guess I'm going to try and put some of this together and uh, and see um, see how it's going to look once it's assembled. Uh, we've got a, actually, the base here is actually a pretty decent size. This... Uh, this probably won't be um, that big, but it's probably going to be, you know, a lot bigger than a normal mini. This should look pretty fun on the table, and it should be fun to paint up as well. All right, still building this thing out midway progress. Uh, kind of got a lot of the main chassis built so far, and I'm digging the fact that this thing has some movable pieces. I decided to go with these little gun turrets instead of the missile launchers. Uh, but look at that, man. You can move these things. You can position them however you want. That's pretty cool. And it looks like this uh, door to the front cage is kind of kind of open and close as well. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And uh, let's keep going. All right, part two, the legs are just about done. Just about done. All right, so this thing uh, is taking a long time. I got the arms together. The arms have a lot of moving pieces. So you can move them at the shoulder and at the elbow. Um, and I uh, built the two other guns uh, to go into the other arm here, and uh, they have moving pieces as well, like this little switch here, which you can potentially swap them out, although you all probably have to magnetize them, but my magnets are way bigger than this. So I'm gonna have to look up some really tiny magnets. All right, here it is uh, all put together. Uh, this took a long time, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I put him actually pretty far forward on the base uh, and there's a reason for that. But first, let me go ahead and show you some of the cool things about this thing. So like I already talked about in some of the other things that I like that it's got a lot of moving pieces. Um, I can adjust the gun uh, on this arm. And, and I can move it in or out, and that's pretty cool. And it's actually kind of a tighter fit. On the other arm, this one's a little looser. Uh, I may end up putting some glue in there because I really don't need it to move all that much. Um, this 
one little uh, part in the shoulder kept popping out. Um, so I eventually just glued it in there because I'm not going to need to bend it anymore. That's about as much as it's going to go. So I just glued the, the, the elbow joint. But the elbow joint was moving also, uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, we've got these in the front, uh, and these can go up and down as well. And, and then, of course, this opens. And in case he gets hungry, he can be like, nom, 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 nom. No, I don't think he does that. That's not what he does. Uh, but yeah, so uh, pretty cool. Um, now, one of the things that's uh, nice about here is that you've got two really big uh, guns for the arm. Um, if I want to take this one out, um, it, it's, it'll actually kind of just pop in and out. I probably don't really need to magnetize it, but at the same point, at the same time, that could very easily like fall off and get lost. So um, probably a good idea to go ahead and magnetize it. Here we are. Oh man, that one's looking... I actually think that one looks better, um, but we'll see how they look once they're painted. This one's going to be daunting to paint. Like, I really, like, when I looked at the box, I said, you know, I, I love that paint job. I'd love to do it blue with, like, the light blue edge highlighting and stuff. I know that would take a long time. But I love that scheme. I love that kind of blue. I might do it a slightly different shade of blue, but I think I'm going to probably go with generally this kind of scheme, um, which is, uh, you know, kind of one of the things that I like about uh, these guys. Now, the reason I put him so far forward on the base is because... One thing I don't like about magnetizing weapons is that, like, you, well, where are you going to keep all the extra weapons? At a certain point, you're going to carry on a box of extra little magnet magnetic weapons, so you can be like, oh, wait, hold on, where's the, where's the Vorpal, you know, super gun of plus one versus dragons? I, I need to put that on him, you know? So what I'd like to do, if I'm ever going to magnetize, is just use this as a basing option, like basically magnetize them both. Uh, I always magnetize under the bases anyway, and then... Um, and just make the polarity such that uh, I can put the gun down here and it'll stay on the ground behind him. So he's going to be standing like that with his, like he ditched, he swapped that gun. So basically I can use the base as storage as well. And I don't think there's anything like really that wrong with kind of having a gun on the base anyway, because it can look good. And maybe it's a gun of a fallen foe that he destroyed or something like that. Um, so I, you know, I really like that. But what I'm going to have to do is get some super tiny magnets and uh and put them in there i actually just recently got uh, a lot of people in my last 40k video since i'm just getting into this we're talking about putting um i got this really tiny little uh, uh, drill uh this hand drill here uh for, for for putting holes in the bores uh boring out the guns and uh while i haven't finished building my space marines yet i tried it on this little rider here who's uh and and it worked pretty well uh, i just tried it out this is a dude from legion but uh, but yeah, so that, that worked out really well. Um, it was not was not hard to do at all. So I think something like this, I might have to go a little bigger because this one's this one's super cool too, man. It's like you could you know, when you're drilling it in, you see this stuff just the plastic kind of just work itself right out. So so that's uh, that's pretty cool. I've got I, and I know this looks bad right up here. I did I did scrape it off. It's just some white of the plastic. I'm pretty sure the primer is gonna fill that in right away. Now this guy is actually not that big. Like he's um, I thought he was gonna be much bigger. Um, he's kind of about eight. Here's an ATRT for Legion. He's like, he's about AT, a little bigger than an ATRT, but he's, uh, kind of closer to that size. I thought he was going to be closer to ATST size, which would have been at least twice as tall. Um, but you know, not, not all that big, not, not that big, but still a pretty decent size. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it, man. This is, uh, this has been fun. I, I really don't even know if this dude is like, like legal for play along with the stuff that I just got in the core set because he didn't I didn't have a picture of him put in there but uh you know what I think he's looking cool and uh, if nothing else he can be a piece of terrain um you know I would just 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 put him on the ground and just just treat him like a really big uh, make 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 my own rules up for him no I'm probably not going to do that I'm probably not going to make my own rules up for him but he looks fun should be fun to paint if nothing else and make a really good piece to have kind of on the on the wall kind of just threatening everybody else and 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 the fact that all the moving parts is like super cool so i love it i think this is super, I, like i don't even know what's the story with this guy like like is that like a coffin or a tomb like you can't get out like i have so much to learn on these guys and these seals like right like i i saw in another video somebody called these things purity seals um and i'm like well, wait does that mean like that they that they can't get out or something like that like what happens if 
I mean, and is, how does that even have anything to do with this? Because if like if this thing just opens, can he just walk out of there and like, what if he has to pee? What does he do? What if he wants to go get some Dairy Queen? You know, I, I, like, are they not allowed to get Dairy Queen? I, I, these are the things that I think about when I was like, I don't know who I'd want to serve. I mean, who can, can the Tau go get Dairy Queen? You know, can the, can the Necrons go get Dairy Queen? Who in, in, in Warhammer 40k is allowed to go get Dairy Queen? These are the things that I don't know because I know in, 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 in Star Wars, the Rebels can go get Dairy Queen. I don't think the Stormtroopers can get one, but they might have had one on the Death Star. But, but they, this is why I'm okay with Star Wars and I have been so reluctant to get into 40k because it's like, I don't even know if they have Dairy Queen in this universe or, or, you know, I just had some really good ice cream recently. So maybe I just got ice cream on the brain. Are they allowed to have ice cream? Do they have ice cream in space here? in this universe i don't know let me know what you guys think down in the comments section i'm going to talk to you guys later i want to thank you so much for hanging out with me and bearing with me through my struggle to uh you know get some more exposure into warhammer 40k uh if you like this video though go ahead and give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down in the comments below uh, i want to thank my patrons so much you guys are absolutely amazing if you guys want to learn more uh including links to patreon social media or uh other giveaways or my website or discord or any of that cool stuff I'm going to have links down here. So click that see more button to get the uh, video description. There'll be some links down there. I want to thank you all so much. And as always, have a great day.